is your marriage different than most marriages or like is your marriage experience different because of like the interracial aspect so what's up y'all my name is mike and welcome to another episode of dissecting life with mike today i am joined here with two of my friends zach and shannon how you guys doing? Hey, good. Good. Hey, cool, 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 cool. All right, so the reason we're here today is because we're going to talk about their relationship and some of the things that I wanted to ask them in the past. Just curiosity. I mean, nothing too personal, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to dig in too deep, you know. It's not like I just got a shovel in my back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so let's let's just start from the beginning. So how did you two meet? You can do this story. You can do this one. So I was home for college during the summer, Mm -hmm. and I had texted a friend. We were going out, Mm -hmm. and it wasn't the funnest night. There was kind of a creepo there, so I was Mm -hmm. trying to find my (laughs) second step. Uh, And our mutual friend was out as well, Mm -hmm. and they had coached them to ask me to come out. So we met up at Crescent Moon. Okay. So I called Zach my knight in shining armor because he saved me from the... The creepy guy I was with, yeah. so. <laughs> the weirdo. The weirdo. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. And it's been blissful ever since now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, did you know that you were saving her, like, before that? I mean, dude looked creepy, but I didn't I didn't know the yeah. situation until later. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, cool, awesome. And so, like, since then, you know, it's just, ever since that night, did you guys, like, was it, did, did you did you ask her out a date? You guys just started hanging out? Or, like, what was the flow after that? We kind of started just, texting. Yeah, texting, then kind of hang out, date ish, and then. Took mm, me to Old yeah. Garden on a first date. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. All right, there we go. Set the bar too high. You're like, yeah, this is where we start. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Very classy. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so high expectations. Cool, cool. So, how long did you date before you got married? <clears throat> Three years. Three years, okay. Which Zach wanted. He told me that right up front. Yeah. <laughs> Minimum okay. three years. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So yeah, Zach already had a mess. He had a plan. I was like, all right, just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the read. first day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go, Zach. That okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, sweet. And so then, and then how long was the engagement? Like the actual period? It was a little over a year. Yeah. So we got engaged in August and then married the following September. And that was just from venue availability, really, yeah. and timing of... Mm-hmm. When pictures look good. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so now you guys, like, are you going through the dating stage, been through the engagement stage, went through the marriage. How, how would you rate your wedding, like, as far as fun? Was it, like, 7, 8, 9, 10? Like, did you guys enjoy? Like, what would you say? I'd say the guest was a solid 10. Okay. I planned a good wedding. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. But I don't think people understand being in a wedding, aka yours, is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. stressful. Mm-hmm. I mean, we still had fun, but you're I mean, hosting a party. I'll, I'll be honest, <laughs> like as the guy, like I don't really have any expectations on me or of the actual event itself. So mm-hmm. I usually had more fun than she did because she had to do more things. Yeah. So, and that's kind of just how it goes. Whoever wants, you know, whoever, she did all the planning. I picked the food and the music. Okay, okay. I didn't even get the music I wanted, but so, yeah, no. that's what made the music. We had very strict yeah. rules. He did not follow. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so you guys are married now. You've been married since 2019, mm-hmm. September. I remember. Good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, jumping, so now jumping a little bit forward now into your relationship and the things that you two experience. Now, me being on the outside, of course, I could say things, I could comment on your experience from what I think, but like from your own experience, is your marriage different than most marriages or like is your marriage experience different because of like the interracial aspect? Definitely is for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that you just do differently or Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it, but it's different. How has your guys' awareness changed since being together as far as like, you know, what whiteness means and what blackness means. And like either of you could comment on that just like from your own a point. Heavy question. <laughs> <laughs> I've started to count black people in rooms now. Like okay. when we're in yeah. public, like I'll notice like, oh, there's only two black people here. Okay. Like I've realized that like my whole life has been whitewashed. Mm-hmm. All my schooling, I mean, grade school I had no mm-hmm. <laughs> no diversity. Okay. It's all just a little different. But mm-hmm. I guess that's put a new lens on me of what's the comfortability in the room, what type of people are there. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we avoid certain places just 
mm. for the hassle of it. Honestly, on that aspect, that's kind of funny you say that. Like, I don't think my life has changed because I already live in a white people world. So, like, mm, okay. especially coming to Nebraska with how many white people there were, like, you know, I was already used to that. Mm. Um, and black people don't really have to, like, take into account white people's comfortability, really. Unless it's, like, at their own expense of, mm. like, life, you know? Mm. Okay, okay. Because I, I don't have to feel bad about saying a racist joke to a white person. Like, mm -hmm. nobody's really going to get on me for that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, yeah, I, I don't really have to think about it too much. Mm. Okay, okay, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Okay. Now, one question I'll, I'll always think about is, well, one aspect is, like, the shame factor. Like, whenever you think about, all right, this is my wife, you know, that's your husband. And so, you know, when you're in public, I feel like, you know, with our tribal nature, we like, it's almost like you're a traitor because you chose a person who's not part of your group. So do you guys ever feel like any shame or backlash from that, from other people or have you in the past? You can start. I'd, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, you'll get the looks and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, people roll their eyes or, you mm -hmm. know, make little gestures. Um, I mean, I've never been like confronted on it or had okay. like a serious situation. It's just, I'll walk in and I notice people look at us and then mm -hmm. make a face. Um, I don't feel any shame for that. I don't, mm, okay. I'm, <laughs> Not me, I'm, yeah. I don't want to say I hate white people because, <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there is a general note that I appreciate not being a part of actually. Mm, okay. If you see a black woman in public and you know, you're with Shannon. Is it awkward or like is like is there any type of like tension or like judgment from like I, I don't know. So I mean like from what she said that there have been you know eyes rolls and stuff like that. But to to be fair, um, like once we kind of got together, I kind of expected certain things. Mm -hmm. So I kind of don't even acknowledge or look for it because mm -hmm. I don't care because mm -hmm. I I don't want to care. Mm -hmm. And I don't have anybody directly coming up to me saying anything mm -hmm. like all my family loves Shannon. They love her more than me now. Mm -hmm. like, so okay. <laughs> so I, I yeah I never I never had issues with anybody that like I care about. So mm -hmm. I try to not even like notice other things. So sometimes you'll notice something. Oh but, yeah. If, I if, will always yeah. see that. He's like, no, they didn't. I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, they did. I, <laughs> I try not to look for it because I know it's probably happening. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to have any of my energy devoted to that, really. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, one thing, I, so like, I know you've been hanging out with us for a long time now. So like, when you're with us all in the group, and it's, there are times where I actually forget that you're white. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's white. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yeah. It's like if you ever, if let's say your best friend or like someone you grew up with was like is white or like they're black, but then like, you get into a space where now you have to think about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh yeah, you are white. Like, <laughs> has, that ever, has that ever happened with you too? Like you forget that Zach's black or you forget she's white. Yeah, when I took him to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'd say when Zach like gets in a group of black people, mm -hmm. I'll notice. Mm -hmm. He's not like a different person, but I'll notice differences. Like mm -hmm. he gets to, I don't know, want to say like put your guard down, but there's a more mm -hmm. authenticity, if that's mm -hmm. the right word, mm -hmm. um, to his actions and just how he carries himself. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so I got some fun questions now. Okay. All right, <laughs> All right. this is for both of you, and you guys can like, I don't know, pick and choose, whatever. Okay. So, um, mm. whose family has the better food? Uh, it might be yours because, yeah, like, your, your <laughs> uncle can cook. We're good at cooking well. meat. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll right. put it mostly on your uncle, Tom, and Aunt Lisa. Yeah. The rest of them is like, okay. But th those two, they, they kind of throw they have down. They desserts down, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. it's mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Who's the better driver in the relationship? I'm objectively the better no, driver. No, you're not. <laughs> Did I get in an accident? Who totaled the car? <laughs> why was it? Was it, a, why, it was a <laughs> yeah, you, the only reason it was total is because I was driving it to get fixed. So. Okay, uh, it actual, wasn't my fault. I had a car back up on yeah. it. It was not my fault. Okay, he's a better driver, okay. or I let him drive more often. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I've driven in New York. I'm the better okay, driver. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Who's the more supportive partner? Oh, for sure, him. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't even going to answer that quickly on that. I appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> Good job, Zach. Good job. Well, who's more likely to win a trivia contest about their partner, meaning they know more about their partner? I'd say me slightly. Yeah, I'd say you. Mm -hmm. I don't remember details very well. Who has the better credit score? 
That's probably her. Yeah. But I probably School brought that. it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Student loans. Right. Who's more likely to wash the dishes? Zach. Me. Okay. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Good job, good job. Who's more likely to avoid things because of risk? Her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Who's the more organized partner? Me. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Now, as far as like your, so your relationship now, you've been married uh, for two years now, more or less. Now, what is, now, what are some of the challenges that you face outside of, you know, the interracial aspect, just within marriage, we'll say? Like, are there any challenges or like, is it just all hunky-dory or what? <laughs> no. <laughs> marriage is hard. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, you're growing as a person inside of a person. You have to fold into each other and create a life together while still bettering yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's really hard. And I mean, you're dealing with your childhood traumas, you're dealing with work stress, you're dealing with ending friendships, all aspects of life while taking care of another person. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously rewarding. I mean, I don't know how people do it <laughs> without mm -hmm. a partner, but yeah. it's every day. It's, it's a new challenge. <laughs> I'll say, um, like, I guess, as compared to dating, um, I, everybody doesn't take marriage seriously, but in general, that is a more serious commitment than dating. So it's, you can divorce, but like it, to walk away is a lot bigger. So if you have problems, I don't want to say in the wrong way, but it's like there's not an out really. It's like, it, you have a problem you have to fix. Like if your kid had an issue, like they broke their leg, you have to handle it. You mm -hmm. can't ignore it mm -hmm. or it just gets worse. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's where it gets harder than dating where you could just kind of be like, oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, you whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough, fair ignore enough. all the red flags for later. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. So like going into the relationship, you were already considering marriage. I mean, like, not not, not yeah because i mean what well, i was we 23 were in college, or yeah. something so mm -hmm. yeah it, it wasn't really consideration until we dated to like you know two years we mm -hmm. graduated so yeah. life was kind of just yeah most pushing yeah us graduating for sure mm -hmm. yeah is there a difference compared to like when you guys were dating and now like oh, yeah. do you feel it oh yeah <laughs> i mean we know each other better yeah. now and problems are bigger you know it's not where do you want to go for dinner fight it's you have this problem, you need to fix it. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. And it's, I mean, especially with, you know, starting a family and thinking forward, moving, those conversations get harder and harder and there's more layers to it and more mm. factors to put in. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just with all life phases gets mm -hmm. more <laughs> chaotic yeah. and yeah. fruitful though on the other end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It's just like length of time. I'll say like, like before, like I was saying, ignoring red flags. So if there was any little issue before, then, you know. It, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, like if, if you like had a problem before, but you never say anything about it, and then they do something later on, and then it'll add to whatever new problem there is. Okay, so for those who are dating and are getting closer to like, you know, the like the actual like marriage or like, you know, that's in the near future. Mm -hmm. What would you guys say to them or like what's some advice you would give? Talk it out. And yeah. Don't if there's something you're everything. like uncomfortable or don't want to like like farting in front of like if yeah, you're yeah. if you're not with able to give your 100 and everything you're not ready because okay. i mean marriage is vulnerable you at your rawest worst points asking them to love you and then in return loving them so if you don't feel comfortable discussing finances children things basic yeah. things yeah. and full conversations not just oh do you want to have kids yeah how many kids when what are we going to do if one of them dies? Questions like that. Mm. Those hard questions. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. And people change. You have to accept. I mean, I don't, yeah. if we'd have a kid that died, I don't know how he would act. You know, so it's, you just have to learn and talk it through at the beginning to have mm. a plan. Mm. Fair enough. What about you, Z? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's really just communication in like every aspect, like she was saying, because it's, you don't even know yourself, so it's really trying to figure out your... I mean, because you grow until you die, right? So it's yeah, like yeah. you'll figure out yourself your entire life. Mm -hmm. And if you want the person that's with you to understand you, then you have to, like, be open about it. It's like talking out loud with your thoughts. And you don't rush it. it yeah. Society wants you to rush phases, and there's no point. 
I mean, yeah. dating's fun. I mean, there's, <laughs> it's a lot lighter. Like benefits <laughs> of rushing for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay, okay. Now, um, this question is more or less about you two and how. Actually, th- here's, here's a question. Um, how has your partner made you a better person or made you look at yourself differently? We'll say. I think just with him loving me, I've been able to love myself more. Um, and it's given me a platform to really heal and love, you know, everything about myself and truly address problems that I've ran from for a long time. Um, it's definitely cliche, made me more patient, yeah. <laughs> you know, having to look at someone who just, really gonna say those same two things yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, he pisses you off and then you have to go cook him dinner, <laughs> you know, okay. you're cooking with love, <laughs> okay. maybe a little arson, no, <laughs> that's why you eat first, yeah, <laughs> Oh, I'm mad that you said that. I was, <laughs> I was gonna start with patient, and then I heard your first point. I was like, oh, that's a good one. I think the same thing. <laughs> but I mean, it, patience and the, like loving me, and you know, teaching how to love. I, I guess any everybody will probably get that. But mm-hmm. That's like the biggest benefits of these kind of relationships. But uh, kind of just pushes you forward. It doesn't mm-hmm. let you be stagnant. Yeah. You just have to keep. I guess. And yeah. The other thing I guess you helped me with is um procrastination really like I was always trying to fix that but mm-hmm. like now that like I'm the father of the household I mean will be eventually but like uh like I can't it, so like if I wanted to eat um just dinner but I didn't have anything in the fridge and I'm by myself I'm like you know, I, don't, I don't care <laughs> yeah right, whatever like. but yeah like I mean I have just eaten cheese for dinner before like I I, I don't care at all but, you don't, like you don't cook Oh, you can oh, like I mean, I if it's well. just me, I don't, I don't <laughs> care. Like, okay. But yeah, in our relationship, I don't really cook much because she likes cooking more. So I'll grill, okay. but whatever. Okay. Responsibility. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Like I have to be more responsible now. And we'll just say, like, if, is there anything else that you like to give anyone as far as like, we'll just say relationship. I know you guys are like sharing up already, but like, is there anything in your mind that like, let's say if you met a kid and you're like me- mentoring them or like relationships. What's one piece of advice that you would give to them? Nobody's perfect and you aren't either, so let it go. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. I think be patient. Nothing's going to change overnight. And letting go of some of those cliches of don't go to bed angry. Go to bed angry. Oh. <laughs> you reach a certain point where it's not going to be resolved. That might take years of mm-hmm. communication and effort. Don't force it. Just be patient and love each other. I mean, it's... Mm. it's <laughs> I love it. Sweet. Okay, awesome, awesome. I don't want to go too much further, but um, I want to say thank you guys for jumping on the platform. Greatly appreciate it. Very natural. Like, you were, good job. Good job. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Good job, too, Zach. Yep. Hey. All right, then. Well, guys, I appreciate you guys for jumping on the channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow, share with anyone. Um, yeah, we'll just say that. All right. Well, peace, y'all. Thanks again. And um, see you guys in the next one. You guys don't want to say peace or not? No. Come on. <laughs> Just say peace or something. Hit that bell on the bell. <laughs> yeah.